I'm a plastic surgeon and I work at King Edward VII Hospital. I perform a wide range of plastic surgery operations focusing on facial surgery, which is mainly facelifts and eyelid surgery, as well as breast enhancement and body contouring, which is usually for women after they've had children. One of the concerns patients have before cosmetic surgery is will they look natural? And this is an area of surgery where precision really matters. It's about attention to detail and understanding what really bothers them. It's a mixture of technical expertise in performing the operation, but also an element of artistry. Patients come for a number of reasons to have cosmetic surgery. As they grow older, we stay the same inside, but things change outside. And therefore, that doesn't reflect how they feel internally or doesn't reflect the fact they're lacking confidence. People that come for facelifting want to look natural and they want to have the operation done in a safe way. And one of the clues to achieving a natural result is to look at photographs of them when they're younger. This gives us enormous amount of information about how the aging process has affected their face, which is different in everybody. Anybody who's coming for breast implant surgery, you want to make sure that this is the right time for them to be having the operation. And you want to make sure that someone's fit and well, and you also want to see what is their main concern. Is it breast size? Is it breast shape? Is it to do with the lift of the breast if they've lost height as a result of having children with breastfeeding? And you want to look at harmony with the rest of the body. So all of these things are what we're looking at to try and give a natural result for the patient. The process of cosmetic surgery starts with the consultation and I think this is one of the most important steps um, because this is where you meet the surgeon and understand what the whole procedure is about. Most patients come and they're quite anxious. They might have been thinking about this for a number of years and taken time to build up the courage to even come and see the surgeon. I have no preset ideas when I see them. I actually want to listen to what they have to say is the problem because everybody is different. I think what's important here is to see what surgery can do and to make sure that it's something that achieves their expectation. And this has to be very, very realistic because probably the commonest cause of issues after surgery, it's cosmetic, is disappointment. And I think that can be eliminated by having a very careful and thorough consultation. So at the end of the consultation, I recommend they go home and think carefully before they decide. I think the King Edward VII is a unique hospital because you have a dedicated plastic surgery theatre and ward staff that are trained in plastic surgical techniques. We don't work alone, we're all part of a team and that team makes the overall result as good as it can be. I think the facilities at the King Edward VII are state of the art and they have a unique record for infection control. It is the only hospital in the United Kingdom where no patient has ever contracted MRSA infection since records began.